once again we are at a cemetery in Kishinev, Moldova, but now we are at a Jewish cemetery. At the end of 19th century, Moldova used to be named Bessarabia. There used to be a large population of Jews living here. About half of all the Jews in Moldova and Bessarabia were living in Kishinev. Unfortunately, in 1903, there was a pogrom, which is a, a massacre occurred, and about 40 Jews died. However, the peak of the Jewish community was in the 1930s in Moldova, because Bessarabia was taken over by Romania, and the Romanian government was very respectful, I guess, and tolerant toward Jews, and they opened uh, Jewish hospitals, Jewish schools. During World War II in Moldova, there were bombings going on, and part of the cemetery was destroyed. Luckily, most of it survived. A lot of the people here died in mid 20th century, 1955, 1945, 1942, 50. During World War II, Moldova suffered about 147,000 uh, Jews were sent to concentration camps and about 90,000 of them died. The people that were deported from here, their families left as well and after World War II, um, all these relatives they kind of lost touch where they and i guess this is the reason why this cemetery is overgrown by vegetation and the trees again 1955 1936 i want to clarify the reason why i'm filming cemeteries I wanted to show you the Slavic cemetery to see the difference, compare contrast between the Muslim and the American. And then now a cemetery that people need to know with, with the Jewish roots because look, all this has taken over by vegetation. And the reason for that is because there is no fee like in the United States where you pay and then there's some employees that take care of it. The only way to maintain your memorial or your tomb is by having relatives or friends come. So I believe that not a lot of people know where their relatives are buried because of the war and because of the, the oppression towards Jews that occurred in the early and mid 20th century. So I think this is important for anybody who is Jewish to try to find if you have any relatives buried here because with time this all will become into ruins. Look, it's already taken over. The nature is taken over. Also interesting that most of these graves, the description and the names are written in Slavic languages, but sometimes at the top you can see there's Hebrew. Well, look, these people are buried after in World War II. That's why, I guess, during the Soviet times, that was the only way to write the description it was in the Slavic. It's right here. This wonderful gentleman let us in. He has the keys. And this is the only way you can enter it. 